1991 Gulf War became the proving grounds for the Lynx helicopter, which proved its capability as a dangerous threat to maritime vessels. Armed with two sea skewer, radar-guided anti-ship missiles, and assisted by US Navy SH-60 Seahawks, the Lynx HES-3 Gulf Mods in the battle for Boobian Island eventually sunk 14 vessels in a 13-hour period. Let's take a closer look as to why the Lynxes were able to rack up so many kills in the Persian Gulf. Having already been in theatre during the tanker crisis against Iran in the late 1980s, the Lynx was significantly upgraded to be fit for the Gulf flight ops where temperatures reached 45 degrees at a 90% humidity at most. Equipment added created the Lynx HES-3 Gulf mod. Now in 1990 with Saddam Hussein's invasion of Kuwait, there would be a considerable naval element to the fighting over Kuwait. Why? Well, this was because the Iraqi Navy had taken Kuwaiti ships during their invasion, considerably bulking up their size of the fleet. Most of these ships would be sunk by the Royal Navy or the US Navy, as well as the occasional Jaguar from Bahrain. During the workup to the Gulf War, Lynx crews practiced with the US Navy Pacific Fleet, in particular their SH-60 Seahawk. This variant of the venerable Black Hawk featured a powerful radar and processing power, and the data link. These will work in conjunction with the Lynxes, giving permission to fire and etc. The Iraqi Navy ships were mainly lightly armoured, with very few long-range anti-aircraft missiles. The battle for Bibian Island proved the Lynx's role as a capable anti-shipping helicopter, proving to the Yanks that they indeed needed a strong anti-shipping missile such as the Sea Skua. Hussein wanted his navy to flee to Iran, and therefore had to sail through the Gulf. Coalition maritime aircraft such as the Nimrod and P-3 Orion were watching peninsulas and deltas, watching for any Iraqi movement outwards. Sure enough, on the 30th of January, the same ships made a break for it. 22 vessels in total, with US Navy A-6s and F-18 Hornets picking off several vessels. Lynxes were based on Royal Navy vessels such as HMS Gloucester and HMS Cardiff, being stored at the rear of the ship, with a helipad for the Lynxes to take off. In the early morning of the 30th of January 1991, a Lynx from HMS Gloucester was vectored by a Nimrod to a moving target between Kuwait City and Failaka Island. It took a few attempts to get a radar lock, but when they did, they fired off a salvo of two sea skewers. After firing the second one, the crew spotted what they thought to be flares. These were in fact SA-2 SAMs heading straight for them. They cancelled their radar lock on the sea skewer in order to protect themselves, flying evasive below 30 feet above the waves, the missiles flying straight over them. Ten minutes later, the Nimrod reported one sunken target, a Palnochny, a Soviet-made landing craft, XZ-230 returning to HMS Cardiff. At 1pm, XZ-230 had rearmed and returned to the combat zone, rejoining with its SH-60. There, she launched two sea skewer at two craft, a Polnochny and a Spasilak, with the first missile crippling the Polnochny and the second detonating prematurely. XZ-230 proceeded to stalk the Spasilak before being joined by a second Lynx, XZ-720 from HMS Gloucester. XZ-720 fired both of its sea skewers before both Lynx and Seahawk returned to their ships to rearm. The two Lynxes were rearmed by 3pm, taking off and flying out close to the shore. There, they were fired on by SA-2 SAMs, however evaded these and then retreated. When they were heading away from shore, they were briefly radar locked by US Navy F-14. When heading back, they found another OSA missile ship, sinking it. The attack on Bubian Island was probably the busiest time for Gulf War Lynx crews, however, things calmed down from there. In two days, HMS Gloucester's XZ-720 had beached and sunk two T-43s, sunk a TNC-45 and damaging another, being finished off by cluster bombs, and beached a TNC-34. A staggering result for the Yeovil-made helicopters. Lynx has also worked with Marine Corps AH-1 Whiskey Cobras, guarding them to targets before the Cobras unleashed hell on the Iraqi vessels. That concludes the story of the Royal Navy Lynxes in the Gulf. How about watching this video here, showing the Nimrod's naval contributions to the Gulf War in 1991, guiding the Lynx to its targets.